But what we're here to talk about today are two of the gentlemen that will be bringing Thunder basketball to the state of Oklahoma, to the city of Oklahoma City, uh, and to the country and to the world uh, through the NBA. Uh, and let me be the first one to formally introduce to you Brian Davis and Grant Long. Brian will be our play-by-play -play announcer, uh, and Grant will be our analyst, and two of them um, will be two of our primary voices for Thunder basketball. Last Thursday, I came into town to look for, kind of start scouting neighborhoods, and I was pulling out of the airport in a rental car, and I turned the radio on, and uh, they were playing Montgomery Gentry's tune, My Town. And um, I thought, well, there's a sign. Um, and, and the bottom line on this is that this is, for me, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, you know, if, you're, if you hang around this, actually, if you do anything, you know, you're looking for something, the opportunity to get involved in something special, and I can't think of anything that's more special than a young team, a young organization that with tremendous potential, coming into a market that is celebrating its first ever uh, Major League Professional Sports franchise, and it is indeed an honor to, uh, to be associated with that in this position. I'll just echo the same sentiments that my partner just said, but I'll also go along and say that we're all excited here. That's uh, everyone that's a part of the organization, along with the city. We're excited about having a team here, and uh, I think everyone on this side is committed to presenting a team that's uh, going to be respectful and going to play hard and uh, bringing a championship caliber team to Oklahoma City. One of the best pieces of advice that I ever got in my life when I first started out with the Seahawks in the NFL, I. Uh, uh, picked the brain of a guy named Mark Champion, who was at that time the voice of the Detroit Lions, and I sent him a tape. And, um, and you know, a high energy definitely is, is part of the signature, I guess, but what uh, Mark wrote back and he said, you know, exciting moments, he said, um, let them happen. Don't make them happen. I love learning uh, the stories of the people that we work with and then communicating, communicating that to our audience. Um, storytelling is a part of it, but then there's the technical side. Uh, which is the X's and O's, you know, what's going, stats, the game within the game that, you know, Grant and I will have conversations about on a nightly basis. But, you know, the storytelling is the kind of thing that brings a more casual fan into the broadcast and hopefully keeps them there. And then, you know, you don't want to leave the junkies high and dry so you get into the technical stuff. And, and, and night to night, it's a balance to try to achieve that. There will be a sideline person. Um, and as far as games televised, um, the plan, and I will say this as a, as a qualifier because um, as you've been writing about and, and reading that we are in the process of, of finalizing our, our, our television uh, arrangements, is to uh, broadcast every regular season game, all 82 of them, um, on, on TV and four of the preseason games beginning with the game in Tulsa on television. All the games will be on radio starting with the game in Montana. Um, that opening day and then the, uh, the, that West Coast trip. Um, so that is the um, working plan, and hopefully we'll be able to confirm that for you as well as some other, other details in, you know, in, in the very, very near future.